Do you have no dignity? Are you dying for men to come up to you at the gas station and ask you about your two-wheeled stallion while women avoid you completely? Let me introduce you to probably my favorite scooter ever, the Honda Ruckus. Our story begins in the early 2000s. Honda's design team huddled around a table, scribbling on some napkins. Their goal? To birth a scooter that's part dirt bike, part legend. And thus, the ruckus emerged. A rebel without a cubbyhole for spare change or sensible thoughts. Wider tires, a beefed up frame, and a suspension that says, I dare you to curb hop me. Although, from afar, it may look deceptively simple, <laughs> it is anything but so. Traditionally, scooters are gravity-fed, but this scooter actually has a fuel pump. Now, granted, the fuel tank is below the carburetor on it, and engineers haven't figured out how to beat gravity yet. But, thankfully, the engineers did put a simple fuel pump, and all in all, the wiring diagram is very simple. So, mechanical issues are very few and far between. Now talking about performance, <laughs> it has none. It's got a whopping 4.3 horsepower. Yeah, you heard that right, 4.3. It's got as much horsepower as a caffeinated hamster. Okay, ready, top speed. which seems impressive till you realize there's only 1.3 gallons in that tank down there. So with the law of averages, you can go about 130 miles per tank. But again, it's gonna cost you $3 to fill up. I will hand it to the scooter. Even with its long wheelbase, it's pretty nimble on its feet. Now the seat on the other hand, it's like a medieval torture device. But who needs suspension when you get a built-in spine readjustment feature on this thing for free? But hey, discomfort builds character, right? You wouldn't even know that this thing was also designed for off-road use with how nimble it is on its feet. And with a curb weight of just 200 pounds, <laughs> your arms and your abs will thank you whenever you transition to this from a typical cruiser. Honda wasn't trying to replace the Goldwing with this scooter. Now this thing isn't made for long commutes. Again, the top speed's 40 miles per hour. What this thing was made for is ripping around town and having fun while you do it. And it does exactly that. Because of the CVT transmission, the power delivery is very smooth. It operates at that high RPM range for the entire duration of acceleration. So from the gas light being on to completely full, it costed us $2.55 and we got a gallon in there. So that means the reserve is about 0.3 gallons. A water-cooled engine, you say? <laughs> I didn't know I was in the presence of such nobility. Now Honda wanted to make this scooter the most reliable scooter ever. And whenever you ride a scooter, generally you ride them wide open because they don't go very fast. So Honda introduced a cooling system to this scooter. So this is an air-cooled like most scooters. Whenever stuff is cooled, it runs less hot, therefore there's less wear on the parts, therefore the parts break less, which therefore increases reliability. As 
as long as you're moving, this thing has plenty of power. But if you're at a standstill trying to go uphill, it kind of becomes obvious that it has a 49cc engine instead of something much larger like it feels like on the street. Now the Honda Ruckus probably has the biggest aftermarket parts availability for scooters or motorcycles, period. The low purchase price coupled with the smaller engine size means everyone rides these things from every demographic. So, you know, the aftermarket availability is huge on these things. You can customize these scooters literally however you like it. Price on these, a new one's gonna run you about 35 Benjamins, and that's American dollars. On the used market, you can get them for around 1,500 bucks. So, all things considered, they keep their value decently well. Way better than something that rhymes with Marley Mavidson's. So here we are, a cheap scooter with the survivability of a cockroach that a toddler could ride. Although, I don't think I would test that. One thing I can say is I genuinely smile every time I ride one of these. I don't know who wanted to cross a scooter with a dirt bike, but I would like to shake their hand and tell them job well done. Just don't let her sit too long though, she is carbureted. She wasn't made to sit in storage, she was made to be ridden. Thanks for watching.